So in this video I'm going to take a look at Warren Pocket's Xtel 18 by DX9 Thrame, Flame Thrower Bumper, who is of course Slag, or Slag, or Slug. I mean, he's always going to be Slag to me, quite frankly. Because um, it's quite funny because they changed it to Slug because they consider Slag as an English slang for lady of loose virtue whereas slag is actually you know hot stuff which and he's a flamethrower so slag still works it's just people being oversensitive anyway i'm ranting again let's put him out instructions oh burp. that's a great nice look at the box I, these boxes to be fair are all quite similar Uh, instructions over there. You can tell that I'm doing these in bulk. Right. His gun. Yeah, nice gun. And his sword. And now let's have a look at the chap himself, who is, of course, just quite frankly. A bit of an armoured potato. <clears throat> so here we got a. Just clean looking nice. I mean, to me, this he would spend most of his time in this mode. I think he got a bit of a flappy mouth. Ooh, that looks like it should move, but it doesn't. <laughs> Uh, I think, yeah, all that really happens on this guy is his legs twirl. Uh, and his, I suppose his tail can bend like that. If, not very natural. So, legs going all the way around, flappy tongue, but it's... Ooh, they don't want to move. They feel... I mean, it's, it's cool. Where's Cyclonus? I think you can maybe ride him. Yeah. Uh, uh, poor Cyclonus. He's the, the closest one I have to hand because I was fiddling with him the other day. <coughs> yes, there's going to be five videos in a row where I'm just coughing. Uh, one thing about these DX9 figures is some of the tolerances and all that quite tight and mildly painful to transform but we'll come to the the king of painful to transform in a bit anyway we we'll get him transformed up and we'll see what we can see um yeah here he is it's actually this one is actually quite a fun transformation because it doesn't go how you think it's gonna go there's a bits of nail of oh i need to cut them again um like you think this bit's gonna become its feet but it doesn't his tail becomes his feet and then then the front arms sort of get folded into this backpack here which is yeah it's all it's all quite fun stuff getting the hands out of these legs use the guns articulation wise uh some head movement but i can't get my fingers around his head because my thumbs are too fat we have sort of no we do not have three are we I suppose if we do if we get sword out of his hand you idiot and no, no, we don't. It, it, it's there, you just can't use it. Uh, I suppose one of his dinosaur legs can bend. Sorry, I was mistaken. Ooh, but it's tough. I wish there was some way of locking this bit, just like a little, because uh, on mine it, it keeps opening there. Uh, legs are on a ball. But we do have some Van Damme. We do have some Full Monty. We do have ooh, knee. Uh, the balls here are a little bit loose for me. Uh, and then with foot wise, they just sort of come out. There's not really much going on. But again, it's it's cool. He's a cool looking slag. Bringing some of his friends 
up. He was standing up 30 seconds ago and now his legs are all out. <coughs> and come to my attention, I possibly need some more Decepticon legend scale figures. Because Cyclonus here is going to get his ass whooped. But yeah, that is Slag or Bumper as as they're going by. I wonder where they got I mean I get where they got flamethrower from. I'm sure where they got Bass Barbecue bumps into people, doesn't he? Charges. Because he's a triceratops. <laughs> huh. But yeah. Wonderbait, I'm always interested in. His head. Is your slag a red head or a black head? Uh, let you ponder that one. Well, I think, yeah, well, everyone that knows the argument is going to have an answer like that. Anyway, cool figure again. Bye -bye.